Okay, Mark. Um, FYI, just for fun, I'm using your astronaut to time how long it takes my phone to charge to 100% and from how far down it was, hour and 25 minutes. And it's a new phone too. I mean, it wasn't even that far down. I think it was down to like 60%. I don't know. Apple hates us. All giant companies hate their customers. Okay. So, forgive my rough fingers. There she blows. Now, all three watches that you sent me, you were the original owner of them. Including this one. This was a gift, uh, I believe you said, from your parents. It's real straightforward. It's got the basic kind of wear that we see with these. You'd asked me to polish these. Um, I don't really like polish in the sense of like really grind down the faces and, and renew the sharp edges, but I certainly can improve the look of it, but it's gonna be on the order of like a hand polish, like polishing silver. You'd be amazed what a, what a difference it makes though. Okay, we have the original beads of race bracelets. December of 1971, 17 Jewel 7006. They made more highly jeweled versions as well. They're good movements. Your bracelet's a little stretched out. I can tighten those up. These should, all those things should be tightened up, but I've got to clean everything first. She's not running, don't exactly know why. But the great thing is, is that I work on watches for a living, so I can probably find out. Isn't that neat? <sighs> Let's, where is it? Where did I put it? Isn't that the story of my life? Where did I put it? You can see, it doesn't matter that my hands are seemingly not the most clean, even though they are extremely clean, uh, because I just realized that I'm touching filthy, dirty things. So, I guess it doesn't matter. Woo, boy. Look at that end link. I'm going to have to clean and re-bend, readjust everything so that sits nice and tight. Come on. Ooh, this spring bar is seized. Wow. Yeah, this spring bar is seized. I'm going to have to yeah, that one's rusted solid. I, I'm going to have to break that one off. Yeah, that's what we got to do. Junky old thing. Wow, look at that. It's, it's rare to see one of these spring bars come apart like that. Wow. Okay, so here are those things, and I'm going to soak them, and we'll get those all cleaned. Hey, she's running. Well, we're in for a second, anyway. It sounds like uh, something's loose in the back. It's been so long since I've seen this one that it's, it's a little tough. Come on, Spencer. God almighty. Where did you put this now? I'm just, I'm, I'm surprisingly... Still, like, not 100%, so just stick with me here. Where the heck did it go? Where did I put it? I found it. I was looking. I left it over by the QT99 when I was adjusting your watch. Come on. Your A29, I should say. Yeah, that'll do her. Yes, I'm. That will do it. Weight backed off. Ooh, the movement looks pretty. Um, I don't want to seat that down without needing to, but yeah, that's that's the this backed off. It's not broken, it just unscrewed. Ooh, your winding assembly looks nice and tight. That's great. We got some minor corrosion on there, but I've certainly seen worse. Your lower mainspring arbor port on this one 
could be all sorts of jacked up. Yeah, it just wasn't winding and it's dirty. It might be okay. The auto wind got knocked off. I'll tell you that for nothing. But it advances both directions. It's running. Uh, your hairspring's sticking, but that's not a real surprise. But it is running. Your loom is beautiful, so and the, we can see from the the color of the movement that it's in. It did not get water inside. It's definitely hairspring is definitely hanging up, but I can actually see the coils look decent. It should be straightforward. This shouldn't be any big deal. So let me um, let's get this. Let me get all this stuff into its respective places. I'll clean off this green thing and strip it apart. But you know. I don't think it's going to be crap. Crazy. So, um, I, nothing major. I just wanted to show you. Got the bezel off. You can see that's some of that's corrosion. Some of it's just grot. Uh, I'll clean that off. There might be a little bit of pitting under there. Your case pack looks okay. Ditto for the underneath of your bezel. It'll look a lot better when we're done. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, another subject... Now, I have your balance out, so don't worry about that. I don't know if you can see, but there's kind of a uh, sort of a patina, both in pattern and in color, on this dial. It was originally just a silver dial, quite smooth, without uh, any kind of variations beyond the, radi the, the brushing. But it's got this sort of lovely sort of uh, pattern on it of not only of just these sort of odd little variations in lightness and darkness and refraction, but the dial itself actually has this really cool, slightly purple tint. I've only seen it a few times. Is that the metal underneath the clear coat has colored a little, but look at the loom, it's perfect. And the markers, isn't it pretty? No loom damage at all. No loom damage at all. It's a really, that's just pretty. That's just pretty. You gotta hand it to Seiko. Man, did they know their, their case ceilings. That's really pretty. You can't really see the purple in this, but it's there. I've only seen it a few times, but it's very pretty. Good number of your screws were loose, by the way. I haven't taken them all the way out, but that one was loose, like it was backing out. This one was loose, that one was loose. So that usually means there's a little bit of wiggling going on. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Come on. Yeah, it's pretty typical. Yay. See this little bit of wear here and all this grossness? Ditto with this. A fair amount of wear, but I've certainly seen worse. I wonder how many times I say that a day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely some... Definitely some stuff flying around. I might, yeah, that one's, it's, gosh, that's a lot of wiggle. I don't know, I'll have to look at it more closely. I'm just looking right now to see if there's anything, like, super funky. Let's go. Come on, you want to get out of there. There we go. 
Yeah, there's some grot and dirt on the underside of that Hallowed Fork Bridge there. Not a surprise. Oop. I'll look at that <clears throat> after it gets all cleaned up. There's no point in really looking at it right now because it's going to have grot all over it. And I need to have it clean so I can see the faces. Talking of the pallet fork. Yeah. Come on, you. Yeah, it's dirty too. That's how you get those off, by the way. Carefully pull straight back. Yeah, usual thing. Grot and gruck. Yep. Pull lever. First reduction wheel. I'll go, have to go over all this stuff and clean it by hand because there's just crap everywhere. Um, I just want to look at... Yeah, look at how eaten eaten up that bottom bottom port is. Yeah, we're gonna have to jewel that. I think I'll look at it real close. You don't see it as much with the seven thousand series needing to jewel this because it's a it's a lower not pressure. That's not the right word, but there's less force and stress and power moving through the train. Huh? Isn't that interesting? Wow, wow, it just won't move. Wow, the center wheel's completely stiff. That's wild. Huh, what's up with that? Hmm, because that should be just, I should be able to turn that with a... It's still pretty stiff. Whatever it's holding it up is on the other side. Well, that certainly does not help us run a good movement. Put that there, put that there, put this here. Bit of haze going on there, not much. Okay, it's, it's dirty, but I don't see anything really sticking. Oh, you, well, you got a lot of crap around the cannon pinion. That doesn't help. Yeah, the entire top of the cannon pinion has this, like, black gruck on it. Okay, I'll have to <coughs> hand clean that. All the stuff I need to go through and hand clean. <coughs> Pardon me. Day, day wheel. Day wheel. 
intermediate wheel for the date. Get out. Get out. It's just such a marvel what Diney did with these movements. And they simplified all the right things and very few of the wrong things. It's still an all metal movement and they're just they're just they're nice. And people don't talk much about these movements because they're like, yeah, whatever. Um, but they're absolutely capable of really fine accuracy and long, long, long use. Yeah, they really did some beautiful, beautiful consolidation of functions like this. There's the setting lever there, which is involved, which is also the spring. And this is just a one piece thing. And this is everything. It's such a simple solution. So elegant. Yeah, everything's filthy. And there it is. Look at that one piece stamped. No machining, just plunk. There it goes. All right, so I want to go over. I'm going to hand clean everything and look at all this stuff and get this cleaned and we'll come back. Okay. Out of the cleaner. There she blows. You can see here. There's the newer lower mainspring arbor jewel. I love all the high polished surfaces inside this movement. Some nice machine turning. It's pretty cool. Okay, let me put it together. So you remember, uh, let's see, well, there's a couple things going on. One, uh, you will remember the center wheel just absolutely did not want to turn and uh, I found the problem. It's not a big deal, but this jewel right here, it's out of whack. It's not flat. That's the jewel that the center wheel goes through right there, but this jewel is catawampus, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back in and flatten that out. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to need to do, remember your case had all kinds of rust, especially between the bezel and the case itself. Well, one of the things, your well, your case came out but fine. A little teeny tiny bit of pitting, nothing major. The thing about rust is that it's rust is bigger than the metal that it replaces. Uh, and so that means that it pushes out, which means it cracked your bezel. You can see all the pitting on there. And this thing let go. So these aren't terribly hard to find. I'm fairly sure that I've got one. I may have one. And no, as I, I would be flabbergasted if I didn't have one in very good used condition. So we'll do it. But yeah, that's what rust does. Swells up and crack. Let's drop the balance. See how we're doing. Yeah, flattening out the uh, <coughs> the center wheel jewel was absolutely key. It's interesting. I also saw next to the center wheel, I saw a pretty serious blade strike from a screwdriver. So it looks to me like someone slipped and bunked it. Come on. There we go. Oh, God. I'm a dingle butt. I didn't put the die fix setting in the tr on the other side. Gosh, I got distracted. You know, watch is not going to run very well. It doesn't have its die fix setting. I'm sorry, die shock setting, die shock. One moment. So, here we are looking at the calendar side. Now I have your die fix setting in place, and you can see that. Uh, you can also see your lower mainspring arbor jewel with the mainspring arbor in there. Isn't that lean? That's a pretty neat job, I think. I think that's okay. Let's let's try this again, shall we? Mm -hmm. 
because I want to see if we can make this bunch. Run right, booby dooby doo. Gonna drop the balance, hubby dubby dub. Come on, you get over there. You don't belong over there, Mr. Paul Lever. Oh, for goodness sake. Over. Over. Now, let's do it. Let's try it again. Well, she runs. It's always nice, isn't it? I managed to accomplish the bare minimum of my job description. She's running. Yeah, and look at that. Now that the hairspring's all clean. Look at that. Gosh, it's not hanging up all over the place. Okay, I think I touched something. Come on now. Okay, she is running, but the issue is um, we've got a bad pivot on the balance. You can actually see, if you look carefully at the balance, see it flopping around? It's not terrible. Good, goodness knows I have absolutely seen worse, but... It is not supposed to flop around like that. It's supposed to be absolutely steady as a rock. So it's not damaging the watch right now. It's at the end of the day. Um, I don't want to get into dealing with this right now at the end of the day when we are busy getting ready for all the other stuff that happens in the evenings. So I'm going to I'm gonna let this run because at the very least I can get the rest of the train rolling through and... And then tomorrow I will, uh, I'll go back in and I have new old stock balances and that's what we're going to do. So for fun, um, cause I, I didn't have to run upstairs immediately. I just went ahead and, um, I did the, uh, adjusted the amplitude and accuracy. Um, this is, I mean, these are supposed to, these are supposed to run it in the two sixties at a minimum two sixties. It should be two seventies or more. So this is entirely clean. That is why you see that little bit of a wibble. And you can see that we're getting okay output, but the amplitude right there is really, 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 really low. And having low amplitude is going to affect the watch's accuracy and power reserve. Um, it's just, you want, it's much more stable and much more accurate the, with, ac with amplitude where it's supposed to be. When you see low amplitude like this in a freshly serviced 7000 series, Something's terribly wrong, and we know what that terribly wrong thing is. When the balance is wibbling like this, you're bleeding off power in all kinds of different ways. It's not, you're not getting straight thrust, you're getting all this other stuff. So, get that balance swapped out, and then we'll see how it goes. Okay, now I am. Okay, Mark. So, here we are. So, there's the, there's the, uh, Gen the genuine Seiko replacement bezel I fitted for you. It's it's good used. The originals of these are, I mean, the, the NOS ones are long, long out of production, but I found one that was quite good, and I polished it and uh, to match the condition of the case. Doesn't it look so nice, all clean? I tightened up all the links, all the loose links I've tightened up, and the end pieces I could probably get a little tighter, but that's not bad. Isn't that a beautiful watch? It's a beautiful loom. Especially when I see the beautiful dots on the outside, right at the extreme edge in the dials that are loomed like this. And they're perfectly clean, not stained with any kind of moisture damage. It just means the watch was really nicely taken care of. So it's all there, running along, running beautifully. Um, 
there is your old balance is right in there because your balance was bad quite bad um, here is this um, I did find I wanted to look for something I did find uh, well you know we'll talk about that no it's I don't think it's anywhere no yours is better I found a, another used insert but yours is actually better it's slightly less faded Anyway, but there's that, there's this, and there's that. Uh, the last one to think about was this. It's really, it's it's sad. Um, I mean, because the, the, the LCD screen is, is, is blown. That's, you can see that it's got, it's, it's just, it's not supposed to be dark like that. And you've got the beginning of a bleed right there. It's just, the LCD screen is screwed on this one. If you can find a, a new old stock packaged LCD for this, LCD crystal for this watch, it should, well, I hope it'd be able to be bring, bring brought back. I didn't even bother to open it. I didn't want to mess with it really because I looked through all my stuff and I do not have an LCD screen, nothing. And I, the last one I got I found from some reseller um, overseas, and they had they were all bad ones that some old watchsmith back in the day had replaced it, put a, put the good one on the watch, and put the old dead one back in the packet. And this person was selling them. So, if you do find one, make sure it's one hundred percent in a sealed package. If you want me to look at this, I, I certainly can poke at it. But without uh, without the LCD panel, we're we're whistling Dixie. So that I think would be the first thing. If you can find that, yes, I've had a good amount of uh, time in these. Even just this year, I've been working on these mostly for myself, actually. But so anyway, you let me know about this one, and uh, these two are ready to go, and that's it. So thank you so much.